Bill Maher is going to be at Loyola Marymount University this week, part of his First Amendment week. What kind of shape do you think the First Amendment's in? Do you think it would pass today? Well, they they proved that it wouldn't many times. Not. Well, people have gone out as an exercise, as a stunt, to right. 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 the Which Constitution as a petition, and people would not sign it. So I would, I don't have confidence any of it would pass. But uh, I think it's in fine shape. I think it's something you always have to fight for. But I think I'm living proof that if you do fight for it, it's still there. College Park, Maryland. Hello. Uh, hi, Al, hi, Bill. Um, I'm a left-leaning independent, but I've, I've been following the Republican race very closely. I don't know if you followed the main caucus this weekend, but if you did, the mainstream media would have reported that Romney got all 18 delegates and, you know, no one else got anything. But that's not the truth. That's based on the straw poll, which doesn't mean anything. What matters is the delegates, and the media is not following that. Because if you did, you know that Romney did come in first, Ron Paul in second, Huckabee and McCain barely registering. Why is that not the news? Man, you well, follow politics closer than I do. Because it's mean, <laughs> and the caucus isn't considered important. Right? Wow, I, I, I commend that. You know, that is really commendable that someone who's not in our business, who doesn't get paid to do this, follows it that closely, because I don't know what he's talking about. I, mean, I, I, I didn't know Maine had a caucus. Still trading shots. John McCain and Mitt Romney looking for an edge heading into tomorrow's contest. We'll bring it all to you. We'll also go inside the undecided voters' mind to find out why what they say and what they mean may come down to how they feel. We'll also get up to date. The best political uh, team in television will give us up-to-date analysis, putting it all in focus. That's at the top of the hour on 360, Larry. That's Anderson Cooper, AC 360, 10 Eastern, 7 